Hey guys, how are you? I wanted to take a little bit of time and explain to you about the application of what you have learned. You know, if you are in the process of attaining certifications or you have attained many certifications in A+, plus, Network+, plus, Cloud+, plus, Mobility+, plus, Server+, plus, Linux+, plus, CISSP, CCSP, you're a cybersecurity person, you're a routing and switching person, you work with Sybase, DB2, Oracle, MongoDB, Cassandra, you work with SQL Server, you work with Tableau, whatever you work with, and you're in the process of attaining certifications or you do uh, um, develop you are a CICD DevOps person you understand authentication and encryption and you understand clearly what containers are and what serverless computing is and what Kubernetes is here's the thing you need to be able to apply your knowledge in the enterprise and an enterprise is not made up of just Kubernetes, just Windows, just Linux. It's not made up of just people that work with networks or databases or authentication or mail or with hardware or storage or virtualization or cloud. It's made up of everyone. The way that you'll be able to contribute to your organization is to be able to understand everything that goes on as much as possible. You are not required to be an expert in every area, but you are required to understand the various different parts of the moving puzzle and where they fit into the picture. So I'm going to use an analogy to explain to you what I'm talking about. I think you get it, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Let's say you understand salt and you understand sugar. You understand the various different spices. You understand the meats and you understand the various different condiments. Maybe you've been trained quite heavily in these areas, right? You understand when to use sugar, when to use salt, and when to use a lot of or little of each one of those. How about this? How about you are the person that understands meats really, really well? Okay. Maybe you're the person that understands drinks really well. Maybe you understand alcohol or alcoholic drinks really well because you know which alcohol goes with which food at which time. Maybe you understand coffees and teas. Maybe that's your specialty. Yeah. Maybe you understand the different kinds of vegetables and when they should be used, whether it's parsley or it's carrots or it's onions or it's garlic. And maybe... It's none of those. Maybe you know when to cook what, when to use a stove, when to use a microwave, when to use a toaster oven, when to use an oven oven, and when to use a grill. And maybe you understand those various different pieces and how they fit into the picture really, 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 really well. And you study. Maybe you're an expert in alcoholic drinks. Here's the thing, though. In order for you to serve a meal and be able to prepare a meal, in order for you to be a chef, you need to understand everything. Maybe not be an expert at everything, but you need to be able to understand everything. So applying your knowledge is a very big piece of the puzzle. Attaining various different certifications and learning about one piece of the puzzle or one technology really well is just one piece. Don't just become that person that understands one database really well or understands one technology really well and just ignores everything else. You really can't do that. So my message to you this time is apply, 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 learn to apply and learn how these various pieces of the puzzle go together, how salt and meats and oven and your parsley and your sugar and caffeine how they go together to make a great meal. Uh, what The brief message <laughs> that I wanted to give was, instead of focusing just on the uh, knowledge of one uh, technology, also think about the bigger picture. Have a great day.